Now we're going to pan roast a little ahi tuna. Everyone loves that seared rare ahi tuna. We sell, oh God, 100 pounds of it a week here at the depot. <laughs> So this is how you do it. You take your beautiful ahi steak, again, season it. Little salt and pepper, okay? If you like it really heavy with pepper and a little spicy, you could of course then even take it and dip it in the pepper so it gets a little pepper crust on it. A Little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. This time we're not only gonna want the pan hot, but we're gonna want the oil hot too, like that, see? Come here closer with the camera so I can burn you. Then, simple as that, you set it into the hot oil. Be careful when you're doing this. You don't want it to splash up and hit you in the arm. It is hot oil, okay? Count to about six or eight, make it 10. Until you see the nice crust building up there. Flip it over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Get the edges. Let's sear the whole thing. Nice, get those edges seared. You wanna make sure it's good quality and it's fresh, without a doubt. You know, Santa Monica Seafood's always a good place to buy it. And then a nice sharp knife, and look at how beautiful. Nice and pink and rare in the middle, and beautiful slices, garnish it out with a little bowl of soy sauce on the side and a pinch of wasabi if you want to, or go Mediterranean, serve it with the sauteed mushrooms and a little bit of wild rice, okay? There's so much you can do with it, it's so versatile. Just serve some beautiful heirloom tomatoes right now that you get at the farmer's market, a crumble of blue cheese on it, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar drizzled over it. What a great way to have a meal. That's some beautiful tuna right there. We'll see you at the next show. We'll do some more stuff. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that was really good. Count to about 10. Flip it over with a nice sear, and we've got ourselves some beautiful tuna. That got too hot. We got to do that again. We will, but it looked kind of awesome. It's too hot. If anybody got the oil that hot in their kitchen, they're going to burn themselves. It was wrong. You can use it for fill-in of flame shots and stuff like that, but I don't want to use that. It's too dangerous. So you're saying it shouldn't be a flame? Correct. <laughs>